The cabbie finally answered his page. Oh, and what? Addie's fine. Oh, thank heaven. <laughs> Did she go back to St. Anne's? Mm, no. Uh, not exactly. A flute of your best champagne, please. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. We're not open yet. Oh, I was so sure you would be. Oh, the cab driver took so long trying to find a bona fide nightclub. And the mambo is a must. It's, it's on my list, you see. Your list. I don't have to leave, do I? I, I won't be in any trouble. I'm sure you won't be. You want champagne? Oh, I love that. I can't wait until the clock strikes 12. The word wait is hateful to me. I will live but now. Before the fiddlers have fled. While oh, there's moonlight and music and love and romance. Life isn't a dress rehearsal, you know. It's the main event. Opening night. That is a positive way to look at things. Won't you join me? And love and romance. <laughs> Happy New Year. Mm. No wonder my sister loves this stuff so much. What was that? An indie band. They're playing here tonight. Who oh, no, is an indie band? <laughs> Stick around, you'll see. Is it okay if we rehearse? No problem. He's an Adonis. <laughs> you two ready to rock? No time like the present. Go for it. I want you to know something. I want you to know that I think you're an incredible woman. Please come back. You always believed in taking chances. Making the difficult decisions. Maybe that's what I have to do now. But if you could just give me a sign, something. Is it time? Is it time to let you go? Shane's over at Lonnie's, so I'll stay here with Tommy and keep my germy self across the room. Mm. <laughs> I'll go get into my uniform. Um, your friend, uh, you know, the guy that bought the ring? Yeah. Do you happen to notice the inscription inside of the engagement ring, Michael's words to me? Nice rocks, huh? They're perfect. For our 10th anniversary? Because mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'll be pulling in the big bucks by then? I have no doubt. You are getting one mother of the diamonds. Save your money. I like this one just fine. In that case, how about a yacht? Sure. But don't you dare try to replace this, because I am never giving it up. And I'm never giving you up. Even if you didn't have to be talked into marrying me. I did not. I was just thrown by the dirt hound you gave me, or whatever it's called. I don't know why I did that. Because you're you. And you would never do anything typical, like champagne, dinner. Putting the ring in a cream puff or something? <laughs> My lucky choke on it. <laughs> yeah. Just hope I don't lose it. A little loose? Yeah. Rex, why don't you tell me? I'll tell you. You had it inscribed. No! Oh, thanks. I tried JJ's sale. No answer. I tried her landline, too. She's not home. Oh, I hope her kid's okay. Me, too. There's one other place I could try. Gigi's got a friend who lives at the motel across the street, spends a lot of time there. No way, I'll hold this up. I'll be right back. Hey, so I heard about that hotel. You want to go? No, first we gotta be sure. Of what? 
that that GG doesn't feed us any more bull sugar. Jack. Who's it from? Morning. 